on the screen and you can hear in the background is the network analyzer for the Analog Discovery 2. The same software waveforms works with the analog, the original Analog Discovery, sometimes called the Analog Discovery 1. I've used both. They're basically interchangeable, although the, the 2 has uh, more features. But uh, for these purposes, they're, they're, they work the same. At the top, you see the gain in blue over the input signal in uh, yellow for an amplifier that I've reviewed in the past. It's a K2020A by Kintner. Kint, Kinter. I always want to put an extra N in there. At the bottom is the phase. Now, you've seen this before, so why am I doing it again? Well, the reason is that if you go over here to Spectrum, let me focus in on that a little bit. To this, uh, where it says Spectrum, you click on that, and then if you click on Enable, What you see is a number of checkboxes where you can show the carrier the total harmonic distortion plus noise or just the total harmonic distortion or individual harmonics of the carrier. And why is that useful? Because uh, those of you that have been with me for a while in my channel know that we had a somewhat checkered uh, history with the audio analyzer suite where it worked for a while and then it disappeared and then it came back and then it was in a new form and uh, a number of other people including Mark at Rugo Electronics and uh, El Paso tube amps have been a little uh, well, they've been trying to, pardon this, I'm going to now stop this for right now, just to show you what what is on the screen, and let's move back over here and back out a little. At the top, what you see is as before, the gain over the input, the gain, the output is in blue, the input is in yellow. And then way down here at about 60 dB below the carrier, you have the input in yellow and the output in blue expressed in terms of the total harmonic distortion as a function of frequency. The frequency on the left is 10 uh, hertz. The frequency on the right is 100 kilohertz. Yeah, I think it's 100 kilohertz. And uh, the... Uh, so what we are uh, seeing is the addition of a new feature to waveforms that allows you not only to uh, see the frequency response and, of course, as I'm sure you know, the phase response, which is what's shown in this bottom pane, but also now to add, if you want to, harmonic distortion measurements. The reason that I mentioned the Audio Analyzer Suite before is it also does these same things. But some people have, well, let's just say not everyone has been completely happy with that piece of software. And so some time ago, I started a thread on the Digilent blog or vlog for, uh, for the Analog Discovery 2. And 
I'm happy to report that, uh, well, I, I don't want to say finally because that sounds like that it's, you know, late, but eventually, let's put it that way, the uh, uh, Attila, or Attila, uh, I don't know how he pronounces his name, at Digilent has added this new feature, and I just wanted to show it to everybody. Before I close this video, let me show you the setup and the amplifier that we're running. Okay, here is the amplifier. This is called a Kinter K2020A+, and I reviewed that in my Tom Tech Test 241, doing a similar thing using the Audio Analyzer Suite. Uh, in the middle is a proto board with a uh, with an adapter or a plug system that allows you to connect it to the analog discovery via these wires, and then the signals from the waveform analyzer or from the waveform generator and the oscilloscope are connected to uh, in the in the case of the amplifier, the waveform generator is connected to drive both the right and left channels. And one channel is connected to a resistor, a dummy load resistor of seven and a half ohms, and the other one is connected to this uh, little speaker so that you can hear the, the, what's going on at the same time. Let me run it again, and you'll see that when the frequency gets up high enough, that that this speaker and this amplifier will uh, will reproduce it uh, audibly. Well, you'll hear something coming out of the loudspeaker, but right now it's only at about uh, 20 hertz, 15 to 20 hertz, which is below the the uh, frequency range of this of this speaker. I think this speaker runs from about 100 hertz or 150 hertz up which we're about to get there. And so what I was trying to to illustrate in this is the capability that I know a lot of people had been depending on the Audio Analyzer Suite for, that is... There it goes. That is the ability to, to determine the total harmonic distortion of an amplifier over a range of frequencies has finally been added to, there I used the word, and I has, has now been added to the waveform software so that if you have the latest version, you can do THD analysis by frequency as well as magnitude and phase. So uh, I hope this little update or uh, feature review or whatever is helpful to those people that are using analog discoveries to test audio amplifiers. Once again, I probably won't do much more on this. I haven't much experience with this. I wanted to get the video out, so I haven't really played with this uh, feature. But, here it comes again. Ready? There it is. Okay. So, uh, I don't plan to do any more videos on this, but if I discover some anomalies or, or issues, in addition to communicating them to uh, Atia or Attila at uh, Digilent, I'll also probably do a little video on it, but probably uh, have no plans at the present time for that. But at any rate, I would like to uh, thank Digilent and, and especially uh, Atia for adding this feature. Hope that you get some use out of it. Also hope that you enjoyed the video. And more important than anything, stay safe. Have a nice day.